WKBN First News Network, home of the high school basketball starting five and best overall sports coverage in the Valley. This is the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week, Wednesday edition. Sponsored by Stadium GM on My YTV. Inside the friendly confines of Austin Town Fitch High School, it is the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Tonight, two of the best programs in the area this season. As Boardman checks in at 10 and 3, and Austin Town Fitch at 8 and 3. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krispinski alongside Will Klusenik. All set for the opening tip. Hot switch it back over into the wing on the far side underneath. Spartans have it. It's up and it rattles in for Katie Stamp. 2 0 in favor of Boardman. Some token pressure from Austin Town Fitch inside the three point line. Outside to Jada Lazaro. Skip pass, far side corner. A loose basketball on the floor, and it's onto the left wing. Out front, Lazaro puts it up off the glass and in. And that's the exact start that Fitch needs. Get some early buckets. Borman, they want to handle and get some easy buckets of their own. Torres, strong take, and it won't go. And the Falcons come down with a rebound. Both of these teams absolutely red hot. Taylor Frank out front. You know, the big key tonight is Boardman. Again, you can see him sitting in the zone right now. Can they handle Hunter on the inside? Off that miss, Spartans come down with it. Up the floor to Torres. Torres penetrates into the paint, puts it up, and it bounces in. Four-two in favor of the Spartans. Hot switching it down the floor. As the Falcons trapped. Fitch with the ball outside the three-point line to Maya Jackson. They swing it back out front. Lazaro for three. Back edge, no good. Rebound torn down, and it is a jump ball, and it'll stay right here with 6.14 to play in the opening quarter. Falcon basketball. Loose ball picked up by Kate Green to the line, to the lane, and she's able to draw the contact and the foul. She will shoot two. And Chad, that was one of the keys to the game right there. Defense leading to offense. And we'll get you those keys to the game here in just a second as Kate Green will head to the free throw line following that Austin Town Fitch foul, which was called on Daria Williams. And Green. Picture perfect on the free throw. Our keys to the game are brought to you by the Avalon downtown. First of all, Handel Hunter. Sabria Hunter, one of the best players in the area. Defense to offense. Both sides looking to push the ball and get physical. These two love to bang underneath on the boards and crash for some key rebounds. And those are our keys to the game brought to you by the Avalon downtown. And you can see, Chad, the pressure. Borman looking to get after a little bit. And I talked to Coach Hammerton before the game. I said, you know, what happened in that last meeting? He said, we just do, didn't do anything right, and we're going to throw the tape away. So Borman's coming ready to play. A lot of deflections early here, Chad. Kate Green, baseline, great take, great feed. Up and in, off the glass. And that's the start. Again, you've got two runouts, two excellent deflections by Green leading to high percentage shots. Reagan Berkey stuck it in, and it's 8-2 in favor of Boardman. Jumper short, no good. Loose on the floor, and the Falcons will control. You know, when you play this style, when you're in the zone, when you're trying to trap, you're trying to limit some of Hunter's touches and make it more difficult just like that with that turnover. The less touches she can get, obviously the less shots she can, and it will be advantage for Boardman. The ball goes back to the Spartans. Who lose the handle and track it down off the glass. Shot was well defended by Hunter, among others. But Boardman still controls. Torres is fouled. And a great contest by Hunter. But you could see Boardman getting after those 50-50 balls. 
making sure they get some of those extra possessions. And Maya. that's a great start, Chad, with 8-2 to two Borman. Maya Jackson picks up her first personal. Team foul number two. Ball is deflected and controlled by Green Saxton. Over to Stamp. Short. The rebound torn down, but there's a whistle and a foul on that rebound attempt. And it'll be called on Stamp of Boardman. First Spartan team foul. You know, and you like seeing the pressure here, making Fitch make some plays early on. Daria Williams, a little bit short. Good defense on the interior from Torres. And the ball is controlled by Green. Up the floor, into the corner. Jumper up, and it's no good. And the rebound comes down to the Austin Town Fitch Falcons. Sabria Hunter unable to put it in. And off the miss, Spartans come down with it, pushing it up the floor. Alicia Saxton over the time stripe into the forecourt. Here's Torres. Over to Saxton, inside the three-point line. Ball is poked free by Hunter. Into the paint, floater up, off the back edge, no good. But the rebound comes down to Austin Town Fitch. It's Maya Jackson, and now Jada Lazaro up the floor. Top side, Lazaro. Left wing, three ball in the air, off the back edge, it won't go. Green with another rebound. Up to Florida, Reagan Berkey, to the line, to the lane, puts it up, and a foul is called. So 3.53 left to play here in quarter number one. And so to the free throw line will step Reagan Berkey. Immediate timeout will be coming here in just a moment as the free throw is up and it is good. And a media timeout will take place as we speak. 3.53 left to play here in quarter number one. Boardman off and running. Spartans by seven of the WKBN High School Basketball. Game of the week. Make the short drive to Stadium GM in Salem, Ohio to find your next vehicle. You could win a 58-inch TV at Greenwoods in Cortland, and here's how. Take a qualified test drive this month during our Start Something New sales event, and you're automatically registered to win. Visit GreenwoodCourtland.com to set an appointment, then come in to Greenwoods in Cortland. Avalon Downtown Pizzeria proudly supports all Valley teams this high school basketball season. Come see us for the best pizza downtown off Federal Street in Youngstown. Oh, yeah, let me get uh, one of them there, Daybreaks. Man, I need a nugget of knowledge. How long? Well, we're finishing up right now, coming up at 610. Fresh and on. But That's make room for me. I'm up in 10 minutes. You'll never believe where I'm going. Oh, you got it. Oh, we got a breaking news update coming up. Uh, Weather in the threes. Big changes for the weekend. Update is up in five minutes. But up next is Daybreak Nation on location. Have a great day. Their morning is busy just like yours, but they love serving you every day starting at 5 a.m. You could win a 58-inch TV at Greenwoods in Cortland, and here's how. Take a qualified test drive this month during our Start Something New sales event, and you're automatically registered to win. Visit GreenwoodCourtland.com to set an appointment, then come in to Greenwoods in Cortland. And welcome back, all set to return to action with 3.53 left to play. Here in the opening quarter, couldn't have asked for much more as far as a start from Coach Hammerton's Boardman Spartans, and they've been very active on both sides and, of the ball. And I think their key, again, defense leading to offense, excellent job of getting these runouts. You know, getting at high percentage shots in transition. You know, and, and Hunter hasn't had a lot of touches. So, that, again, you've got to look for Fitch to get her a few touches, whether it's bringing the ball up or in the post. Falcons trailing at 9-2. Skip pass into the corner. Now onto the wing. Emma Bartlett has checked in for Fitch. Jackson, top side, Lazaro. And you can see Borman Spartans really sagging in on Hunter. They're going to have to make a couple shots to loosen that up a little bit. But you can see the game plan by Coach Hamilton. He's going to let them take a couple and see if they can make it. So the ball is out of bounds and off Boardman. Hunter over to Bartlett. Here's Lazaro raising up. And it bounces in. Got the kind rim, but you like to see that type of penetration and the floater. And they're going to try to create the turnover, and they do, Chad. Aaron pass over the head and off the fingertips of Kate Green. 
Back to Fitz, trailing by five. Lazaro out front for the Falcons. Over to Bartlett. Now Lazaro. Back in this direction. Off the dribble. Lazaro. Bartlett. And now Jackson. There's Frock for three. No good. The rebound torn down by Ashley Saxton for Boardman. Ahead of the pack. Torres. Loses the handle and gobbles it back up. Now Berkey. And off the dribble comes Alicia Saxton. Green one dribble. Down to two and a half to play. And Coach Hammerton says, pull it back out. Set something up. Reagan Berkey. Over to Saxton. Back to Berkey. Very deliberate, patient approach for Boardman. Berkey for three. Off the back edge. Hunter with a rebound. Another rebound for Hunter. Been the primary ball handler, and again, the errant pass right there. Out of bounds, it'll stay right here. With Austin Town Fitch. Taking his seat for Boardman is Alicia Saxton. You know, big key for Fitch right now. Obviously, very difficult getting the ball in there to Hunter. She's got to make sure she stays weak side on some of these shots to maybe try to create some offensive rebounds and shots for herself. Three ball up off the back edge. It won't go. The rebound down to the Boardman Spartans. Pinball basketball trapped down by Berkey. Berkey races ahead of the pack. Cut off at the free throw line. And now back out front. This is Torres off the dribble into the paint. Puts it up and in. Well, body flying everywhere. That's an aggressive take. Torres right to the 10. 11-4 is our score. Boardman with the takeaway. Ahead to Berkey. Berkey, great pass underneath. Off the glass and in for Sexton. Transition working extremely well for Boardman right now. 13-4. Nine points. Spartan lead. That Spartan pressure doing the job in the opening quarter. Skip pass near side. Bartlett for three. That time she was short. And Boardman comes down with another board. Here is Berkey, great feed, low post. Off the rim, no good, however. And there's a whistle and a foul with under 53 ticks left in the opening quarter. Kate Green picks up the personal. That's number one on Green and number two on the Spartans as a group. Serene Khatib checks in. For Boardman. Ball knocked out of bounds. We'll stay right here. Pressure definitely helping the Spartans get a lot of deflections, making Fitz think a little bit more than they want to right now. Hunter loses the handle. Another takeaway by Green. Green to the line, and the ball bounces off her shin and out of bounds. Back to Fitch. This is the Falcon team, Will that has been particularly solid here at home, four and one on the home floor. Uh, and they're a good basketball team. Uh, Hunter's again, one of the best players in the area, but she's got to get some of those type of touches. Sabria Hunter off the glass, and in, plus the foul. And that's what you do when you're a scorer. Find some of those high percentage shots, easy shots early to get you into the rhythm. And this is an outstanding take, absorbs the contact, Hunter has the opportunity for the old-fashioned three-point play. Hunter, the senior captain, an all-Ohio player, over a dozen Division I scholarship offers to play in the college ranks. And she'll be playing at West Point Military Academy next season. Coach Dan Schnurenberger says she is easily the hardest worker he has ever coached. And she practices just as hard as she plays in the games. You don't see that all the time in the high school you ranks. You don't see that. And she's going to need that at that next level going to Army. And going how? to West Point. Wow. Berkey feeds it. Left low block. Up over everything. Contact. And there's a whistle and a foul underneath. Called against the Spartans. A little bit too much physicality underneath. Yeah, a little too much. And right now, you know, Fitch hasn't played extremely well this quarter we get an opportunity here to cut it to, to three you know with a bucket second foul on katie stamp of boardman 
Derry Williams swing it around back this way. Here's Bartlett into the corner. Williams clock winding down and it's off the iron. Sabria Hunter couldn't get it to fall. They played one quarter of basketball here in Mordman. It's Mordman 13, Austin Town fits seven. The second quarter is next on the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Buy your next vehicle at Stadium GM in Salem, where Zero Down delivers every day. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the player of the game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. Hi, Rob Fellman for Borman Subaru. We're excited about two new vehicles that have just arrived in our showroom. The 2019 Subaru Ascent, the biggest Subaru ever, with three rows of flexible seating with space for seven or eight, and the all-new 2019 Subaru Forester. New and improved with eyesight and driver-focused technology that alerts distracted drivers. And remember, Subaru is the most fuel-efficient all-wheel drive vehicle in America. Only at Borman Subaru, just south of Route 224 on South Avenue. They're the classic American family with a twist. I raised a moron. I love you, Boopy. Oh, oh my no. God. Oh, my God. But they're the family you can't help but love. Family takes care of family. This is what we do. The Goldbergs feel the love every weeknight. I got you, baby. Oh, God, no, I don't. Weeknights at 6.30 on MyYTV. Maybe it's the crust, the toppings, or even the sauce. What's the best pizza in our area? My Valley Dining wants to know. Pick your favorite place right now. Go to myvalleydining.com and vote. We'll pick a winner for each county. Check out the hundreds of great places to get a slice across the valley. Make sure your favorite is number one. Go to myvalleydining.com and vote today. Every day, they protect their city. Now, five days a week, these are their stories. Let's go to work. Weekdays at 3 on MyYTV. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go. Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. All set for the second quarter. Boardman with a 13-7 lead over Austin Town Fitz. Chad Krispinski, Will Klusenik back with you. Spartans back underneath into the post. That time it was short. Sabria Hunter right in the thick of things defensively. Hunter back out front. Swing it around to the right wing off the fingertips of Austin Town Fitz. Is Jada Lazaro another turnover back to Boardman. Active defensively by Boardman on the other end. A very, very nice move there by Torres didn't get it, but good footwork. Just unable to capitalize on that shot. This is Saxton. Here's a Fitch trap. Falcons trying to force a turnover of their own. Torres over to Berkey. Berkey slices into the paint. Oh, what a pass! But the shot was blocked by Hunter. Another shot blocked by Hunter. It's nice to have that type of security in the paint when you get beat. She's in there to help you out, protect, and makes up for a lot of mistakes. Hunter intercepts the pass. Back the other way. Hunter to the line, to the lane. Puts it up and in. Okay, good defense, better offense by Hunter. Starting to get a few more touches now. 13-9 is our score. Spartan still with the lead. But Fitch... Coming up with a lot of life in the second quarter, Will. Yeah, and that's the thing. Usually, you know, sometimes when you don't get the touches by your best player, again, Hunter finally getting some touches, getting a little active defensively, you know, getting creative offensively in transition. Exactly what she needs to do to get involved. 13-9 is our score. Bounce pass. Tie up. Out of bounds. Off Gordman. Back to Fitch. So right. Sabria Hunter will coming in averaging better than 25 points a game. You can tell she's the focal point, Chad, not only for, you know, Coach Nuremberger's team, but the other teams 
you got to know where she is. You got to get a body on her, and sometimes two or three. And, and you got to kind of pick your poison, Chad. You know, you leave her in there one on one. She's probably going to, you know, take advantage of that. So you're going to have to force the team to make a few shots before you get out on her. She's going to get hers, as yes. they say. Yep. Just have, hopefully, if you're a Boardman fan, you hope not a lot. Sabria Hunter is a supreme talent. Kate Green with another tie up, and there's that defensive prowess that she has shown over the course of her career. And, and she's really done an outstanding job, been very active, you know, deflections, getting the ball out in transition. And, and those are the type of players you need to just kind of create that havoc for you and create some extra possessions. Falcon ball, skip pass onto the right wing, back out front to Frank. They feed it for Hunter. Hunter in the paint. Underhand pitch from the corner. Three ball, no good. Rebound down to Alicia Saxton of Boardman. Look at Reagan Berkey racing up the floor. Shot was deflected. Hunter again in the vicinity. Here comes Hunter to the line, to the lane. Puts it up and won't go. But she will shoot two. picks up the personal and Sabria Hunter right into your living room. Right into the living room, Chad. She, she handles the ball extremely well. No doubt. You know, for a post player, you know, great touch. You know, and, and that's what you, when you work on those type of things in the off season, it shows right now. Sabria Hunter. The offense runs through her, according to coach Schnurrenberger. Highest points per game, highest rebounds per game on the team and in the All-American Conference. It's 13 to 11 now, ball out of bounds, and it goes back to Fitz. You know, and I was just going to make the comment to Chad, just, just working defensively, Hunter is, just like all of the Falcons. But what I like most, too, about her offensive game right now, she's not just settling, you know, for, for her teammates to pass her the ball. She's really moving and being active and ducking underneath. Excellent shot right there. Just doing all the little things, Chad. 13-13, Hunter remains a force. Spartans have it. That Falcon defensive intensity has increased. Torres scoops it up and won't go. It's cleaned up by Stamp. Back outside to Berkey for three. Off the iron, it won't go. Ball is tapped out of bounds. Off Boardman, back to Fitch. There you're going to look at Jeff Hamerton, the head coach of the Boardman Spartans. And he has this team already with 10 wins coming in. But they're in for a dogfight tonight against a potent Fitch team. And Fitch making all the right reads right now and trying to find her. But again, you can't force it. You got a lot of players around her. Green. Back up to the top of the key. Torres. Approaching five minutes to play in the first half. Sabria Hunter with a takeaway. There's that defensive work. Sabria Hunter puts it up and won't go. But there's a foul on the floor. You want to talk about strength, Will. I just, I just I'm appreciating her defensive effort. You know, active hands, getting deflections. And you can see, you get the foul happens right there, but still able to gather herself and absorb the other two players. I say give it to her there. A continuation. Keep going. 13-13 is our score. Ball is into Lazaro. Hunter for three. No good. Rebound down to Ashley Saxton of Boardman. Reagan Berkey. And this is the time right now for Boardman to respond. Pitchers on one of these little runs have tied the game up. Boardman not getting the easy buckets they were getting to in the first. Shot blocked by Jackson. Up the floor comes Frank. Frank crosses over. Ball poked free. Hunter controls. Puts it up. It won't go. That would have counted. But it will not go. And it's going to be another two-shot free throw situation for Sabria Hunter. As that will be number two on Cape Green. As you get a look at Coach Schnurrenberger. Free throw up. Free throw good. And she's just figuring out a way, again, to, to get shots. You know, get to the free throw line, get in her buckets and transition. That's exactly what you do when the focal point is on you. Excellent job. Hunter puts it up and in. 
She's already up to 11 points. She averages 25 a game. Fitch, pressure, ball, controlled by Boardman. Torres, off the glass, offensive foul! Sacrificing for the team. And that's a great call, great position. You know, and even Hunter, you know, he's doing a great job of trapping in half court, gets the deflection, and you can see excellent position. Jackson with the charge. Not the easiest thing in the world to draw nope. a charge. No, nope. at any level. At any level, and, and you know, you can see the whole Falcon bench got up with excitement, and, and that's usually what that does. 15-13, Fitch by two. They whip it around the perimeter. Lazaro for three, little bit short. Great offensive rebound. Top of the key, here's Frank for three. A little bit offline, it's no good. And the rebound down to Boardman. Berkey into the corner, Kate Green. Inside of four minutes left in the second quarter. Green penetrates into the paint. Back outside, now into the corner. This is Saxton, off the glass and in. And we're tied again. And that's the shot that they were getting in the first half. Saxton penetrates off the glass. Another high percentage shot. And we're going to see if Borman can able to make a little bit of run of their own right now. Outside the three-point line, here's Lazaro. Back to the corner, Williams. Now Frank, here's Jackson. Lazaro with that high floater, high off the glass and in. Good, but nice high floater by Lazaro, very sneaky get in there. Good opportunity. Pass is intercepted again. Sabria Hunter with another takeaway. She's to the line, she's to the lane. Off the glass and in, plus the foul. What a play by Hunter. Hunter, coast to coast. 2.51 left to play here in the second quarter. 19.15 is our score back after this on the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Shop 24-7 at StadiumGM.com where you can view the entire inventory. Everything is new and exciting at the award-winning Stadium GM Superstore in Salem. Find new roads to the area's finest selection of Chevys and enjoy great lease deals like a new 2019 Trax for as low as $164 a month. And that's with zero down. Or drive away in a new 2019 Equinox for just $213 a month with zero down. Truck buyers, stop down and see over 100 of the all-new redesigned Chevy Silverado pickups and save big. Visit us on the web at StadiumGM.com or come down to the Stadium GM Superstore in Salem and save. A degree will open up doors for promotion opportunities that makes that student more marketable in the workplace. What's great about the criminal justice program at Eastern Gateway is that we have, I believe, some of the top instructors. They have the knowledge, the experience, the practical work that they lived it, they've breathed it, they've walked it, they know what to expect and they can pass that experience on to the students. Their real life experiences they bring into the classroom. Sabria Hunter has been a force for Austin Town Fitch. It is now Austin Town Fitch with a four-point lead. Every week we pick the player of the game. It's one player that has made the greatest impact during our game of the week. The player of the game is sponsored by Nightline Embroidery and Pebblestone Flooring. We'll feature the player of the game every Monday night at 6 on WKBN 27 First News. Sabria Hunter put the free throw in, but she stepped over the line. So it doesn't count on the lane violation. And it stays a four-point contest. Chad Krispinski, Will Klusenik back with you. Kate Green with the ball. Picks up her dribble. Out to Saxton. Now Green. Green takes it baseline and scoops it up and in. You like the baseline drive by Green. And Boardman, again, hanging around, again, doing what they do. 
And, and that's the thing, you know, they got to just stick around here, you know, make sure they kind of contest Hunter and not give her too many easy opportunities and force other people to beat you. Up at the top of the key, here's Hunter just inside the free throw line, puts it up and in. And she sneaks out just a little bit away from the post area and been very successful you know, putting the ball on the ground and going to the hoop. Hunter ends up with it again. Defense to offense. Hunter feeds it on the right side. Frock for three. She knocked it down. Time out on the floor. 147. Left to play in the first half. And it's Austin Town fits 24. Boardman 17. Not only is Hunter Chad creating opportunities for herself, she's creating them for her teammate. Again, eyes up, head up. Understand she's going to draw the attention. Three players kicks it to a wide open front for three. Taylor Frank, another one of those senior captains. Tremendous three-point shooter. And she showed that sweet shooting touch right there to electrify this crowd here in Austin Town. And at one point the game was tied 13 all. So we talk about it all the time, a game of runs. Now, how does Boardman respond? You know, Hunter starting to make some plays. They've got to be able to make a few plays of their own. 24-17. There's more pressure from Fitch. Spartans trying to get across. They do. There's Green. Over to Berkey. Who puts it up and in? Contested shot. Able to take it strong with the finish. 24-19 is our score. Off the dribble, this is Williams. Feeding it to Jackson. Frog for three, got it! That's a pretty good one-two punch there, Chad. 27-19, high pass. Up over everybody's head. And a turnover back to Fitz with 62 ticks left. We're going to have my head on a swivel. I don't know why I was looking at you, Chad. That thing came whizzing by. I almost, almost took one in the teeth. Sure did. Up front. Now onto the wing. There's Lazaro. Skip pass. Near side corner. Williams feeds Jackson. Now Lazaro. Front for three again. Back edge, no good. Offensive rebound by Jackson, and it's a foul on Boardman. And that's the type of a fight you like to see. Jackson going after that rebound. Both players had the opportunity to get it. Jackson got the 50-50 ball, and now gets rewarded by going to the free throw line. The Boardman foul is tagged Ashley Saxton, her first ninth Spartan team foul. With 39.8 seconds left. Free throw up, free throw around, and the free throw is no good for Maya Jackson, who comes in with a reputation of being just a very gritty player, works very hard, very tough player. I think most importantly, a great teammate. And she has the ball. Jackson over to Lazaro, who can hit the three ball as well. And we'll see if Fitch now will hold for the final shot of this second quarter. And I'll tell you what, Chad, one of the most underrated plays on that series right there is Hunter what a quick step she got onto the interior and, and, and if they didn't get the offensive rebound I know Hunter was going to that was a great move by her and they're gonna play for the last shot and, and it's been all Hunter this first first half sure has Lazaro with the ball over the front they bounce it underneath off the fingertips of Sabria Hunter and then off Boardman four seconds left Frank set to trigger it in Ball is into Williams for three. Off the rim, no good. Hunter cleans it up. It won't go. It's a little bit too late, and we have played one half of basketball here in Austin Town. Your halftime score: Austin Town fits 27, Boardman 19. Our halftime festivities will begin when we come back. You're watching live coverage of a special presentation of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Stadium GM only uses certified technicians and genuine replacement parts. 
Morgan Furniture's year-end clearance has been extended. Get 40% off plus an extra 10% off your entire purchase. Buy with two years no interest or pay cash and get an extra discount. Only at Morgan Furniture and Mattress in Niles. Avalon Downtown Pizzeria proudly supports all Valley teams this high school basketball season. Come see us for the best pizza downtown off Federal Street in Youngstown. Come ring in the new year with a new car from Sweeney. Sweeney is the best place to save with GM employee pricing for everyone. Lease the 19 GMC Terrain for just $125 a month. Or lease the 19 GMC Sierra Limited for just $178 a month. Your current lease can save you even more. And GM employee pricing for everyone at Sweeney. Click SweeneyCars.com or stop by Sweeney Chevrolet Buick GMC. On Market Street in Boardman. Sweeney. Whether you are married, single, or in a relationship, dealing with life, love, and relationships can be strenuous. That's where the Warriors, Inc. Love, Life, and Relationships Enrichment Seminar can help. Sign up today. You'll learn the essential tools to produce healthy, loving relationships. February 9th at the Holiday Inn in Boardman. Package includes a continental breakfast, seminar, a dinner and dance, and live entertainment. Register today online at eventbrite.com or call by January 26th to reserve your spot today. As a mom, you're always wondering what your kids are getting into. That's why I'm so proud to be a part of WYTV's Keeping Kids Safe. It's helpful to know what my son can be exposed to online, in the neighborhood, or in school. Every Monday at 11, 33 News will focus on issues facing our children. Keeping kids safe. It's part of how 33 WYTV believes in this valley. Sponsored by Mahoning County Children's Services and Sweeney Chevrolet Buick GMC. Morgan Furniture's year-end clearance has been extended. Get 40% off plus an extra 10% off your entire purchase. Buy with two years no interest or pay cash and get an extra discount. Only at Morgan Furniture and Mattress in Niles. And we greet you tonight from the home of the Austin Town Fitch Falcons. Here at halftime, it's Fitch 27, Boardman 19. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krispinski back alongside Will Klusenik. A very entertaining first half of play. Of course, Boardman roared out of the gates, but boy, did Fitch finish things off in the second quarter. Yeah, Boardman did a great job early getting the shots that they wanted, high percentage shots in transition. But like anybody, you can't hold a great player down like Hunter. She started figuring out a way to get her shots, easy buckets, get to the free throw line in transition. She started to take over. Let's take a look back at our keys to the game, which are brought to you by our friends at the Avalon downtown. First of all, handle Hunter. Well, Boardman was able to do it early on, but not late in that first half. Defense to offense. Plenty of defense and plenty of transition basketball. Finally, get physical. Both sides successful in that regard. Those are keys to the game brought to you by the Avalon downtown. Fitch 27, Boardman 19. Halftime festivities continue after this on the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Oh, so this is what your living room looks like. Watch Daybreak weekdays at 5 a.m. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. So I'm the lead instructor. There's a math instructor, science, and English language arts instructor. With our project-based learning, they get together, solve this problem, and it involves all of our areas. The school is divided up into different blocks, and that allows us to have a lot of flexibility. They're learning from hands-on activities. All the equipment that's in the fab lab, I haven't seen a school yet that has all of this. You can't get away from the technology. At Valley STEM, the possibilities are really endless. Hi folks, Steve Bott from Mark Thomas Ford. We're kicking off 2019 and tell them how, Dave. Hi folks, Davey Jones from Mark Thomas Ford. Check out these great deals. Lease a Ford Echo Sport for $175 per month or a Ford F-150 for $225 per month. Davey, don't forget the new Fusion for $19,215 and of course the Mark Thomas Promise. So stop out and see us at Mark Thomas Ford. And see how low we can go. We're two miles north of the 82 Bypass on Elm Road in Cortland, Ohio. And check us out on the web at markthomasford.com. I'm meteorologist Ryan Halicki. Tonight on 33 News at 11, I'm going to have an update on the next two storms. One gets here tomorrow, bringing us the risk for accumulating snow. Our big storm system impacting California tonight. It arrives this weekend. I'll show you what it brings. I don't 
see myself as a hero. I just was doing my job that night. Tonight, the story of a Canfield bus driver. How a little trouble didn't stop her from getting the girls' basketball team home safely. Meet our hometown hero tonight at 11 on 33 WYTV News. Every day, they protect their city. Now, five days a week, these are their stories. Let's go to work. Weekdays at 3 on MyYTV. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. And welcome back. Inside Austin Town Fitch High School, we're here at halftime. It's Austin Town Fitch 27, Boardman 19 in girls high school basketball action. Hi again, everybody. Chad Prisminski back alongside Will Klusenik, and welcome to our halftime report, which is brought to you by our friends at Valley STEM Academy. Let's take a look at the first half miscellaneous numbers and show you how things went down between the Spartans and Falcons, and will both teams shooting particularly well at different points in that first half, but Fitch made that late run. Right, and most of it came from the two-point area, you know, with the transition from Borman, and then Hunter started doing that as well, but the free throw line was definitely key for Fitch in that half. Sabria Hunter had a ton to do with that huge Austin Town Fitch rally. She got it done on both sides of the ball. Coach Schnurenberger said he wanted to move the ball up the floor, defense to offense, and Boy, Sabria Hunter made it look easy. Some of those miscellaneous numbers look this way. Talk about getting physical. Austin Town Fitch getting the better end in the rebounding department, but Boardman doing a good job on the boards as well. And when you talk about the Boardman Spartans, you talk about Reagan Berkey. Coach Hamilton said how she goes is how the Spartans go. A good take to the rack here. Good take. Might have got fouled. And those are the shots that they're going to need in that second half. Attack the basket just like they did in the first half. Leading scores look this way. Hunter with 15, Berkey with five, and it all adds up to a 27-19 Austin Town Fitz lead over Boardman. Well, of the third quarter, when we come back, you're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. The Game of the Week Coaches Interview is sponsored by Curbstone Coaches. You've heard the name, but who are the Curbstone Coaches? Organized by members of the local sports media, we work to preserve the memory of athletes who have brought distinction to the community since 1958. Curbstone Coaches, paying tribute to local athletes for 60 years. Everything is new and exciting at the award-winning Stadium GM Superstore in Salem. Right now, you can save thousands because for a limited time, you can get 0% financing for up to 72 months and enjoy up to $2,000 in rebates on select Buick models or drive away in a great lease like a 2019 Buick Encore for just $189 a month, and that's with zero down. Or how about a new Acadia as low as $279 a month with zero down? Visit us on the web at stadiumgm.com or come down to the Stadium GM Superstore in Salem and save. Turn your house into a dream home with Pebblestone. Ugly concrete? Cover it with Pebblestone. Like a beautiful stone carpet, Pebblestone is easy to clean and covers broken or pitted concrete. Installed in one day in any weather condition. Transform your messy basement or garage into a gorgeous living space. Best of all, we do all the work. From moving your items, preparing and cleaning, to installation and organization. Call today for a free steel organizational system with your purchase of a Pebblestone floor. For luxury stone flooring that everyone can afford, trust the Valley's own Pebblestone. We are Venture Salem. We produce the fascias, trim elements, and interior plastic components used on millions of cars today. We are a great place to start building a career from the ground up as a light industrial laborer, robotics operator, team leader, and more. Begin your career with Venture Salem. Apply today at jobs.ventra.com. Venture Salem, where careers are built. Think all court shows are the same? We're talking about your father. Guilty or not guilty? Guilty. Think again. Caught in prominence. Weekdays at 11 on MyYTV. You've heard the name, but who are the Curbstone Coaches? Organized by members of the local sports media, we work to preserve the memory of athletes who have brought distinction to the community since 1958. Curbstone Coaches, paying tribute to local athletes for 60 years. And welcome back to Austin Town Fitch High School. Falcons with a 27-19 lead over the Boardman Spartans as we're all set for the third quarter. So the area's best basketball players are part of WKBN starting five. It is sponsored by Eastern Gateway Community College. 
head to WKBN.com and click on sports to see the top high school basketball players in the Valley. Chad Prispinski, Will Klusenik back with you. Glad you're with us on this wintry Wednesday night. Stay safe, stay warm, and at all costs, keep it locked to the WKBN mobile app for the latest weather forecasts and any schedule adjustments for whatever it might be. I was looking at it today, Chad. A couple delays for me. Ball underneath, <laughs> up and in, nicely done. Katie Stamp. Doesn't matter how old you get, it just anytime you see a school cancellation, you love it. Especially being in that profession. That's Chad. right. I'll tell you, our superintendent made the right call today just with the two hour delay, though. Dr. Shivers, great job. They swing it around to Frank. Back this way, Frank. Skip pass. Jackson. There's Lazaro. And Frank. Jackson raises up for three. Up. No good. And it's out of bounds, but off Boardman. You know, and that's what you're going to have to risk. You know, you're going to have to see if they can make a couple outside shots. You know, maybe you get a couple rebounds and a couple quick uh, runouts. Near steal by Green, controlled by Lazaro. And now Williams. Skip pass, pass is picked off ahead of the pack to Reagan Berkey, who promptly has her pocket picked. This is Lazaro slicing right to the lane. She puts it up off the iron. It won't go. And the rebound to Williams, and now Fitch has another chance. Frock lob for Hunter. Up, no good. Second try. It won't go. Loose ball, contact, a whistle, and a foul, and we'll check out what it is. And it is a foul tagged to Boardman's Alicia Saxton. Look at how just, Hunter crashes those boards. Yeah, just physical, great pass. You can see the contact just keeps fighting through it, realizes she's going to get there. Three ball from the corner for Lazaro, and she drilled it. And the lead is now 30 to 21 in favor of Fitch. Hunter nearly comes up with another steal. At that time, a little call. bit too much physicality. But you know what? That's an interesting call. She got the deflection, and almost both players had the opportunity to go for that deflection. And again, problem is, sometimes a more physical player gets that called on them. Nine-point lead for Fitch. This is Berkey inside the three-point line. Torres feeding Berkey in rhythm for three. Off the rim, no good. Kate Green cleans it up sticks it in. Green, right place, right time. And almost could have had a foul there on Fitch. Tried to undercut her just a little bit, but stayed strong and finished. 30 to 23 is our score. Here's Jackson lobbing for Hunter. She puts it up. It's a little bit short. Crash on the boards. It's controlled by Boardman's Alicia Saxton. Up the floor comes Berkey across the time stripe into the forecourt. Berkey takes it over to the left side and picks up her dribble. This is Saxton slicing down the paint. Saxton walked with a basketball, and it goes back in the opposite direction. And that's the type of aggressiveness you want to see. But again, you got to make sure you get the proper footwork. 5.35 left in the third quarter. Maya Jackson is able to draw the foul. It'll be called on Saxton. And that is number two on Saxton. And that is also number two on Boardman as a team. This is Lazaro. Ball is out of bounds. It'll stay right here. Another deflection by Green. Very active on defensive end. Another one. Another deflection. Ball out of bounds. And it goes back to Boardman. Spartans trying to cut into a seven-point lead. And we have a timeout on the floor. We'll keep it here with 5.23 left to play here in quarter number three. And it's Fitch by seven. But again, Boardman coming out here in the second half, showing some signs of life. During the stoppage of play, we have an opportunity to remind you that every week we pick the player of the game. It's one player that has made the greatest impact during our game of the week. The player of the game is sponsored by Nightline Embroidery and Pebblestone Flooring. We'll feature the player of the game every Monday night at 6 on WKBN 27 First News.
Of course, girls action tonight. Hopefully they're checking out the WKBN mobile app and checking out our girls basketball power rankings, which were released last night. And the boys forthcoming as well. A little bit of a shakeup in the girls' power rankings. Check it out at WKBN.com. Lazaro, rainbow three, a little bit short. Franck on the floor looking for that loose ball. Jump ball, it'll stay here. And yeah, Green doing a lot of things that don't show up in the stat book. You know, got some deflections on the floor. You know, getting a tie-up. An excellent job. And the ball is in to Lazaro. And Franck back to Lazaro. Inside of five minutes left. Three ball up and good for Franck. Franck, that's her third of the night. Likes that spot. Skip pass to Berkey. Berkey crosses over into the paint. Berkey is able to draw the contact and the foul. Both teams, again, you can see Borman looking to try to attack. Yeah, and, and get those opportunities. Probably had a little window where she might have been able to get that up on the glass. It's number two on Jackson. Spartans control. Torres, great take. A little bit too strong. And the rebound to guess who? Sabria Hunter. This is Lazaro. Cut off near the baseline. Kate Green comes up with another steal. And a jump ball will send it back to Boardman. Doing on all, the possession arrow. Chad, doing all the little things. Even just last possession, they're you know, really doing a nice job of communicating. Uh, again, you know, sometimes those things don't show up in the scorebook, but really solid game. There's some three-quarters court pressure from Boardman. From Fitz, that is. Kate Green muscles it up and in. Giving a little spark here. 33-25, up the floor come the Falcons. Williams can't get it to drop in, but she's going to shoot two with 4.05 left. Right, take it to the living room. An offense initiated contact, defense in legal guarding position. However, we're going to the line. So Daria Williams misses the first. She's a junior first year starter she does a little bit of everything great athlete great defender and clearly the fastest player on the team and able to knock the free throw in boardman comes down with it it's ashley saxton here's berkey slicing into the paint putting it up and she will shoot a pair of free throws Three fifty-seven left to play and with that, we will take timeout. Fitch 33, Boardman 25. We'll bring you back to Austin Town after this on the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Stadium GM is proud to sponsor the High School Football Game of the Week. Morgan Furniture's year-end clearance has been extended. Get 40% off plus an extra 10% off your entire purchase. Buy with two years no interest or pay cash and get an extra discount. Only at Morgan Furniture and Mattress in Niles. Avalon Downtown Pizzeria proudly supports all Valley teams this high school basketball season. Come see us for the best pizza downtown off Federal Street in Youngstown. They make the community a better place. They give their time, their energy. It's their love for others that sets them apart. They're your hometown heroes. And at 33 WYTV, we want to honor those who stand out. Go to WYTV.com and click on Hometown Hero under the Community tab to enter a nomination. We'll introduce you to a new Hometown Hero every Wednesday at 6 on WYTV. Hometown Heroes, sponsored by Window World. Morgan Furniture's year-end clearance has been extended. Get 40% off plus an extra 10% off your entire purchase. Buy with two years no interest or pay cash and get an extra discount. Only at Morgan Furniture and Mattress in Niles. Here about for the Austin Town Fitch student section on hand. Fitch up 33-25 coming up. After tonight's game, we'll have an opportunity to interview the winning coach. Our Game of the Week coaches interview is brought to you by our friends with the Curbstone Coaches. Free throw up and good for Berkey. 
Sutton Berkey now has six points. She'll try for seven, trying to make it 33-27. And she does. Some of those girls in that stand said the JV game with the Fitch JV girls winning and Danny Hornacek doing an outstanding job for the uh, Fitch girls. Daria Williams cut off by Green. There's Taylor Frank. And now Lazaro. Lazaro raises up for three. It was offline and short. Rebound to Williams. Williams outside to Lazaro. Now Franck who can hit from a country mile away. Williams, skip pass. Here's Jackson raising up and knocking it down. What I like about that, Jackson going to the mid-range, not just standing out there. Excellent pass, finish in range. 35-27, loose ball on the floor. Another takeaway for Austin Town Fitch. Falcons have it to Lazaro. Over to Frank. Thought about the three and then thought better of it. There's Jackson. Lazaro. Nearly another steal by Green. Might have got a finger on it. Jackson for three up, no good. Hunter sky and high for that rebound. She couldn't come up with it. But the Falcons will get it back anyway. Traveling called on Maria Torres, and it goes back to Fitch. Again, this possession where you work hard, get the rebound. You need to make sure that you're secure with the basketball you know, and, and making sure you're making good decisions. Lob underneath. Contact. As Sabria Hunter went up forward, and Kate Green undersized. And there was contact, and they're going to call Kate Green for the personal foul. And Coach Hamilton has all right in the world to be upset with that call. That is the incorrect call. My, oh, my. Green comes up with the steal anyway, but it's ripped free from her grasp. Maya Jackson, whistle, and a foul. Again, Green very active again, and this is where you've got to get your motions in check. That's two back-to-back -back on Green. So that looks like it's going to be number four on Green. She's been such a tremendous asset to what Boardman yeah. has done tonight. Just and active, yeah. Wow. But again, you got to stay focused, and hopefully, uh, you know, again, Boardman recognizes that with four fouls in the third, you know, in third period already. Jackson puts it up and in. 37-27 is our score. Berkey. Ahead of the pack to Torres. Baseline jumper up and good. Katie Stamp drilled it to make it 37-29. Spartans need to come up with a defensive stop. Lazaro, they lob it underneath Sabria Hunter. Nope, the rebound. And she stuck it back up and in. Hunter with the rebound and one there. And always active, staying with it. This will end. It'll stay right here. Big Green is going to take a seat with four fouls. Yep, and that's the right call. She probably won't be back until the fourth quarter. Yep, probably about the five-minute mark, I'd say. Reagan Berkey. Outside the three-point line, this is Serene Khatib. Out front, Torres defended there by Sabria Hunter. This ball on the floor, and a timeout has been called with 93 seconds left in period number three. 39-29 is our score. The area's best basketball players are part of WKVN starting five. Sponsored by Eastern Gateway Community College. Head to WKVN.com and click on sports to see the top high school basketball players from here in the Valley. These two teams coming in with plenty of momentum. Boardman had won six of the last seven. Meanwhile, Austin Town Fitch came in seeking a fourth straight victory since falling in three straight right at the end of the month of December.
Of course, both of these teams coming up big wins recently. Fitch with a one-point win over Canfield on Saturday in a thriller. And, of course, Boardman defeated Howland by eight over the weekend as well. And these are two good basketball teams, and we talk about all the time, the goal is just keep getting better. Torres sticks it up and in. You know, and Boardman really just trying to hang around here right now, down eight. You know, if they can try to get this down to about six by the end of the quarter, they're in good shape. Ball is out of bounds. In fact, pass was attempted for Bartlett, but I think Sabria Hunter thought it was for her and knocked it offline. A little lack of communication, and Borman was able to get their shots in transition like they have been. Reagan Berkey, oh, it's a foul, has been called. And we'll get another look at that coming down, and you can see Berkey. Uh, again, it's a bang-bang call. Uh, it's probably a pretty good one. Berkey picks up her third. Hunter brings it up the floor. Spartans with a takeaway. Khatib into the paint shot. Blocked Hunter with the rebound off that miss. Here come those Falcons. Taylor Frank over to Lazaro as we're inside the final minute of this third quarter. Here's Frank. You know, if you're Borman, you're really trying to keep this under single digits. 35 seconds left. Here is Bartlett. Hunter. Lazaro. Walked with the ball. This is a big play by Coach Hamilton right now, bringing Green back in. Again, you can show, see how reliable, Chad, she's been all night. You know, where he's willing to put her in in this situation. Obviously pretty intelligent where he realizes she's not going to foul. 24 seconds left. Spartans trying to get it across, and they do. Saxton over to Torres. Torres has her pocket picked. Jada Lazaro to the line, to the lane, and then alertly pulls it back outside. Seven seconds, now six. Spartans come up with it. Reagan Berkey racing up the floor. Berkey puts it up and won't go. Cleaned up, and it bounces in, and it will count at the buzzer. What a way to end things in the third quarter for Boardman. It's a six-point game of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Good luck to all area teams from Stadium GM, proud sponsor of the Game of the Week. for Borman Subaru. We're excited about two new vehicles that have just arrived in our showroom. The 2019 Subaru Ascent, the biggest Subaru ever, with three rows of flexible seating with space for seven or eight, and the all-new 2019 Subaru Forester. New and improved with eyesight and driver-focused technology that alerts distracted drivers. And remember, Subaru is the most fuel-efficient all-wheel drive vehicle in America. Only at Borman Subaru, just south of Route 224 on South Avenue. Our program here at EGCC provides students with an associate's in pre-kindergarten care or teacher education and it provides them a pathway to be successful as they move on to their undergrad degree or, or whether or not they choose to serve in a local daycare or child care center. Graduates go on to get their undergrad degree in teacher education, their early childhood middle education, secondary education. They can become special education teachers and they're ultimately impacting the next generation of change makers. Come ring in the new year with a new car at Sweeney. You have to get here now to check out Sweeney's SUV lineup. It can't be beat. Lease the 19 Chevy Trax as low as $39 a month. No loyalty? No problem. Lease for just $98 a month. Or lease the 19 Chevy Equinox as low as $109 a month. No loyalty? Lease for just $129 a month. Click SweeneyCars.com or stop by Sweeney Chevrolet Buick GMC. On Market Street in Boardman. Sweeney. 
WYTV.com, your pinpoint forecast, the very latest news from across the community, and breaking stories, your home for community news. And welcome back to Austin Town Fitch High School. Falcons open things up in the fourth quarter with the ball. Frog whips it over to the right wing. Three ball in the air. Lazaro rattles it up around and it won't go. And the rebound comes down to Reagan Berkey of Boardman. Ball is loose and there's contact, a whistle, and a foul. It'll be a one and one free throw shooting situation. And Chad, we, we've got to develop a situation with these fouls. That's number four on Berkey as well. So you've got four on Green, four on Berkey, and then you've also got three on Torres, uh, a couple other people with two, so that's developing as well. However, free throw not converted by Lazaro, and Green will bring it up the floor for Boardman. Green puts it up and in! Been reliable all night. A little bit of contact, fights through it, gets the lead to four. 39-35, this one coming down to the wire. Lazaro slices through a pair of Spartans. Somehow stays on her feet to Frank. Near side, Bartlett for three, no good. Rebound, comes down to Saxton. Ahead to Berkey, Berkey to the line, to the lane, puts it up over everything. Loose wow. Ball. Tapped up by Green, what hustle. Saxton feeds it underneath to Stamp. Back outside, three ball up and good for Reagan Berkey. And Chad, those are the possessions that go unnoticed right there. She creates that tap out and gets the three. Boardman cuts it to one. 39-38 is our score. Sabria Hunter spinning in the paint, scooping it up and in with the left hand. The Falcons go back to Hunter. They settled the last couple possessions, and now they're in a dogfight. See if Boardman's able to continue some of this pressure. 41-38, timeout called by the Boardman Spartans. 41-38 with 6.28 left. This is a very polished looking play by Sabria Hunter. That's a big time move, reading the defense, using the left. You know, and Chad, if we can go back to the other play, that's one of the most heady plays just to get that tap out and that extra possession. Uh, just, just, you like to see that type of kind of instincts from a player. And, and you can see it, you know, with, with right here as you're coming down, no, she can't get it. And just, just a quick little nudge and tap. Yep. They, and Borman just had enough to get the ball spun around. Very unselfish. Berkey able to knock it down. You said it. Instinct and hustle. Those are the two things. That, that's impressive. Kate Green showed there. But again, the important thing to remember here for Boardman is four fouls on Green, four fouls on Berkey. And then you've got three on Torres. And, and Fitch, really no one in foul trouble. You know, Hunter's got two. Yep. And also, you know, uh, they have, Borman has seven fouls, so Fitch is in the bonus as well. Spartans with a chance to tie it with a three. Reagan Berkey spinning at the top of the key onto the right wing. This is Saxton firing, missing. Hunter with a rebound for Fitch. Falcons trying to increase this current three-point lead. Over to Jackson, underneath, Sabria Hunter puts it up and won't go. And she'll go to the free throw line and shoot two. What I like is they're looking for Hunter, and those are great passes. Right up to the high hand, and you can see Coach Sturmer teaches a great job. And Jackson, right from the top of the key, high points it, and Hunter goes, gets it. Sabria Hunter puts the free throw up, it's no good. She went off for 27 points. In Fitch's win over Canfield on Saturday, 65-64. She's 5 for 6 from the line, and now 5 for 7. Ball is out of bounds. Off Boardman, it'll stay with Fitch. A prime chance for the Spartans yeah. there, missed. Yeah, and those are the ones you need to grab. You know, when you're playing a team like this, in a close game rivalry, you've got to make sure you squeeze those possessions, because right now they're going to start feeding Hunter. Hunter couldn't knock it in. Boardman comes down with it. Maria Torres works it over to Saxton for three and the tie up no good long shot long rebound here is Torres into the paint with the left hand puts it up it is short but it's cleaned up off the front edge second try won't go shot was blocked 
Daria Williams down to Jackson, who puts it up and in. Missed opportunity, had Green underneath there, and Borman doesn't get the bucket. Fitch gets the easy run out. Green into the corner. Back out front to Saxton. Slicing into the paint, short again. Sabria Hunter had something to say about that. That's good interior defense from Fitch. Here's Jackson. Back out front, Aaron pass. And a timeout has been called with 5.03 left. So perilously close to being over and back. Take a look here. And it would be over and back. But the timeout was called and awarded with 5.03 remaining. It is a 43-38 basketball game. Tonight's high school basketball game of the week being streamed live at WKBN.com and the WKBN mobile app. Make sure you download the WKBN app to watch our games all season long. There you'll also find high school scores, stories, and highlights. Download the WKBN mobile app today. And of course, we're here tonight with some girls' action. We'll be back with you. We're not done. We'll be back on Friday night over in western Pennsylvania. It'll be a big one between Farrell and West Middlesex. Those two fighting for the top spot in Region 2. We'll have that one for you Friday night. Special start time, 7.30 on my YTV and the WKBN mobile app. They lob it underneath for Sabria Hunter. Hunter puts it up. It will not go. Back to Hunter off the miss. She sticks it back up and in. Again, she had three Borman Spartans around her. Just outworked them all and got there and got the bucket. 45-38 is our score. Aaron pass up over everybody and the ball all the way into the hallway. And that's that's the right read. Again, kind of wrong pass. Just hurry herself a little bit. Borman got it to where they needed to. It's fundamentally not the right pass. Back in for Boardman is Ashley Saxton sitting down as Torres. And you can see, Chad, the last couple possessions, Fitch has done an outstanding job uh, of finding Hunter in the, in the middle and getting looks. Williams knocks down the deep triple. Just like that, it's a 10-point Falcon lead. And Hunter with the excuse and the assist. Jackson to Franck, up around and off the rim, no good. And Boardman races back up to the other end, and there's a blocking foul that is called with 4.14 remaining. And escalated quickly to a 10-point lead. You know, Boardman still has a lot of time left in this game. We talk about getting quality shots, you know, making it difficult for Fitz to score, though. Berkey. At the top of the key, crossing over. They get to Green. Green into the paint. Ball is tapped out of bounds. They'll stay here with four minutes left. Spartans to trigger it in. It is Saxton to Berkey. Out front, Green. One dribble over to Berkey. Here's Saxton, a green in the corner, penetrating. Baseline jumper, it's up, it's short. And the rebound comes down to Austin Town Fitch. Lazaro. Over to Frank. And here's Daria Williams, who goes baseline. Williams is swinging around. Here's Lazaro, raising up. Rainbow shot and won't go. Cleaned up and stuck back up and in by Williams. RBI. Excellent job of not fouling, going over the top, creating the extra possessions. Up 12. 50 to 38 is our score. Green over to Saxton. Green again. Ball is tapped back to Berkey and now Green. Berkey, right of the lane, shot blocked, but there's a whistle and a foul as 
Berkey hit the deck. With 2.52 left to play, and with that, we will take a timeout. 50 to 38, Fitch leading Boardman will have the final 252 when we come back on the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Buy your next vehicle at Stadium GM in Salem, where Zero Down delivers every day. Everything is new and exciting at the award-winning Stadium GM Superstore in Salem. Find new roads to the area's finest selection of Chevys and enjoy great lease deals like a new 2019 Trax for as low as $164 a month. And that's with Zero Down. Or drive away in a new 2019 Equinox for just $213 a month with Zero Down. Truck buyers, stop down and see over 100 of the all-new redesigned Chevy Silverado pickups and save big. Visit us on the web at StadiumGM.com or come down to the Stadium GM Superstore in Salem and save. STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. So I'm the lead instructor. There's a math instructor, science, and English language arts instructor. With our project-based learning, they get together, solve this problem, and it involves all of our areas. This school is divided up into different blocks, and that allows us to have a lot of flexibility. They're learning from hands-on activities. All the equipment that's in the fab lab, I haven't seen a school yet that has all of this. You can't get away from the technology. At Valley STEM, the possibilities are really endless. What a night for Sabria Hunter. She's two minutes and 52 seconds away from leading Fitch to win number nine at the moment. 21 points for Sabria Hunter. First free throw is up and good for Reagan Berkey. And she's got 13 rebounds, three blocks, and three steals to go along with that. And a, a lot of deflections and just playing very well on both ends of the floor. But we still do have 2.52 left to play. And Boardman has shown the ability to score in bunches very quickly. Hawkins get it across. There's Frank, who's had a good game. Over to Lazaro. Jackson. Berkey playing with four fouls, as is Green. Skip pass over to Frank. Down to 224 left, Lazaro. Over to Daria Williams. It won't go. Loose ball grabbed by Sabria Hunter. Another board for Hunter. 211 left. And you're going to have to trap here a little bit. Go right over the top. That's another great pass and great catch. Look at Hunter sticking it up and in. Sky and high above everybody. And it's 52 to 40 with two minutes left. Just grabbing and high pointing the ball. Torres floats that one up. It's no good. Loose on the floor and it's a jump ball. It'll stay right here with a buck. 52 remaining. Borman's job is to create as many possessions as they can here in this last minute and 50. And again, begs the question, at what point do you start maybe fouling? But two of your best players are playing with four. It makes it difficult. Yeah, you might want to you start subbing offense, defense, you know, maybe just to get some people in to, to foul or maybe switch some people from the top of the zone to the bottom. Saxton with a miss. Kate Green with another rebound. Back out front to Reagan Burke. He's Spartans. Trying to pick up the sense of urgency now. Berkey into the paint. Berkey with the left hand puts it up. No good. Rebound tapped and controlled by Boardman's Saxton. There's Berkey, and we have an injured player, I do believe, on the floor. As that one was deflected, and it's out of bounds. Slow to get up was Maria Torres. Not pictured, but good to see she's okay. And the ball will stay with Boardman with 116 left. Green. Off the dribble, Torres. High floater. It won't go. Rebound taken up by the Spartans. Three ball up. It won't go. Another rebound for Sabria Hunter. That's her 18th rebound of the night. Inside the final minute of this one. This is Lazaro. Now Frank. And now we have... 
A whistle and a foul. It'll be called on Green. And Green is fouled out of the game, but you can't say enough about her night. Kate Green is fouled out. Nice little wry smile right there. Again, she played hard tonight. She did. Great effort. Yeah. Very gritty play. And now we're going to see some wholesale substitutions for Boardman and head coach Jeff Hamilton. It's not going to go the way of the Spartans tonight, but hats off to what they've been able to do so far this season. And best of luck. Absolutely. Absolutely. They've got a lot of pieces over there. They, they played well, played hard tonight. Sabria Hunter getting a standing ovation from the home fans as she heads to the bench. And we'll see a lot of the reserves coming in. And it's a one and one free throw shooting situation. Taylor Franck steps to the stripe and knocks it in. And that'll give uh, the Falcons a 13 point lead. Forty-seven point four left. Frank drills the second one as well. And she'll sit for the rest of the ball game. Ashley Mickey will replace her. And we'll see some new faces in. And Frank hit some big shots too as well, Chad. A couple of those threes. Yeah, ended with eleven tonight. Caitlin Corbett is among the new faces in for Fitch. Serene Khatib will bring it up the floor for Boardman. And Khatib has her pocket pick. There's a steal by Corbett. And it's Ashley Mickey. 34 seconds left onto the right wing. Melissa Mershimer. Ball is knocked away. Emma Tukarski can't corral it. And it's out of bounds with 26.7 seconds remaining. It's a well-played game tonight, Chad by both teams. Two very fundamentally sound teams, two very well coached teams, two teams that are gonna make a lot of noise come tournament yeah, play. They, they've got a lot of pieces. Hunter, one of the best you know, players we've seen this year so far on the girls' side. No doubt. Boardman steal by Khatib, who takes her time and puts it up and in. And with that, the final horn will sound. Final score in this one here tonight, Austin Town fits 54. Boardman 42, and we will begin our post-game festivities after this on the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Shop 24-7 at StadiumGM.com where you can view the entire inventory. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. Turn your house into a dream home with Pebblestone. Ugly concrete? Cover it with Pebblestone. Like a beautiful stone carpet, Pebblestone is easy to clean and covers broken or pitted concrete. Installed in one day in any weather condition. Transform your messy basement or garage into a gorgeous living space. Best of all, we do all the work. From moving your items, preparing and cleaning, to installation and organization. Call today for a free steel organizational system with your purchase of a Pebblestone floor. For luxury stone flooring that everyone can afford, trust the Valley Zone Pebblestone. Hi folks, Steve Bott from Mark Thomas Ford. We're kicking off 2019 and tell them how, Dave. Hi folks, David Jones from Mark Thomas Ford. Check out these great deals. Lease a Ford Echo Sport for $175 per month or a Ford F-150 for $225 per month. Davey, don't forget the new Fusion for $19,215 and of course the Mark Thomas Promise. So stop out and see us at Mark Thomas Ford. And see how low we can go. We're two miles north of the 82 Bypass on Elm Road in Cortland, Ohio. And check us out on the web at markthomasford.com. How I Met Your Mother has just what you've been craving. My God, some of these drinks could actually make a girl smarter. How I Met Your Mother. Weekdays at 4 on My YTV. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go. Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. I'm meteorologist Ryan Halicki tonight on 33 News at 11. I'm going to have an update on the next two storms. One gets here tomorrow, bringing us the risk for accumulating snow. Our big storm system impacting California tonight. It arrives this weekend. I'll show you what it brings. I don't 
see myself as a hero. I just was doing my job that night. Tonight, the story of a Canfield bus driver. How a little trouble didn't stop her from getting the girls' basketball team home safely. Meet our hometown hero tonight at 11 on 33 WYTV News. And welcome back. We just saw another dandy here on this wintry Wednesday night as Austin Town Fitch tops Boardman by a final score of 54 to 42. Austin Town Fitch now improves to 9 and 3 on the season. Meanwhile, Boardman drops to 10 and 4. Hi again, everybody. Chad Prospinski back with you. What a ball game it was as these two teams, two of the best programs in the entire area, come into this one looking to maintain that momentum as we inch ever closer to tournament play. And boy, what a performance here tonight by Sabria Hunter. We hope to catch up with her here in just a few short moments. But Sabria Hunter did it all for Austin Town Fitch in that first half of play. She's making her way over to us here as we take a look at her performance. Sabria Hunter on the night finishes with a grand total of 23 points, 15 rebounds, three blocks, and three assists, helping Fitch come away with a 12-point victory for Fitch's ninth victory of the season. So we'll bring in Sabria Hunter now and let her get all situated and get her thoughts on what was a tremendous basketball game and a tremendous performance as Sabria Hunter awarded our Player of the Game Award. And our Player of the Game Award is brought to you by our friends at Nightline Embroidery and Pebble Stone Flooring. And Sabria, congratulations. A, a big game here tonight. Two teams that are playing really good basketball. What was the difference in the end that allowed you guys to come out on top? Um, I think it was really about, you know, our mentality. Um, we had a rough stretch, like, in the late third quarter. And we really just had to come back and... Um, collectively as a team and you know bring that mentality back to the win so things didn't start well of course they got off to the very hot start and then you guys kind of just kept like a workmanlike approach and yeah. worked your way right back into their what does that say about the mentality of this group that nothing really rattles them um we really love each other you know every time we go out there we feel like we just we owe it to each other like to give it our best so for each other on the court what are you most proud about in terms of what you bring to the floor? Of course, you had so much interest from so many Division I schools. You're going to West Point. When you step out onto that floor, what do you look to do, and what allows you to have as much success as you've had and you continue to have? You know, um, every time I step on the court, um, I think about my purpose. Um, you know, the Lord has really blessed me with all these opportunities, and I just feel like, you know, it's my job to always give my best um, in my faith and for my team. So that's most important. Nine wins already and counting. We still have several more weeks before tournament time is here. It's going to be here before you know it. But you feel good about what this team's going to be able to do, making a lot of noise when you break out those brackets? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, we really, it's really a confidence booster, you know, um, and keeping, just like I said, keeping that um, game-winning mentality, always being on the same page. Um, and along the stretch, we're really getting a lot of good experience, and that's that can't be taught, so that's really important for us, too. Well, congratulations on a great performance. Congratulations Thank on you. a great win. Best of luck down the stretch. Thank you. That's our player of the game, Sabria Hunter. Huge night. 23 points, 15 rebounds, three blocks, and three assists, helping Fitch to a 54-42 victory over the Boardman Spartans. Our post game coverage continues after this. Chad Krispinski inviting you to stay tuned for more of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Make the short drive to Stadium GM in Salem, Ohio to find your next vehicle. You could win a 58 inch TV at Greenwoods in Cortland, and here's how. Take a qualified test drive this month during our Start Something New sales event, and you're automatically registered to win. Visit GreenwoodCortland.com to set an appointment, then come in to Greenwoods in Cortland. Whether you are married, single, or in a relationship, dealing with life, love, and relationships can be strenuous. That's where the Warriors, Inc. Love, Life, and Relationships Enrichment Seminar can help. Sign up today. You'll learn the essential tools to produce healthy, loving relationships. February 9th at the Holiday Inn in Boardman. Package includes a continental breakfast, seminar, a dinner and dance, and live entertainment. Register today online at eventbrite.com or call by January 26th to reserve your spot today. 
Avalon Downtown Pizzeria proudly supports all Valley teams this high school basketball season. Come see us for the best pizza downtown off Federal Street in Youngstown. This week's hometown hero uses laughter by traveling the world to perform comedy for those. I, I use the opportunity and the talent that I have to help raise money for lots and lots of charities. I just kept reading and kept reading. I'm like, there's no way this guy does all this stuff. <laughs> I'm glad that we have a segment like Hometown Hero to definitely remind people that there are good people out there. There is frequent enough that we get to showcase them once a week. Doing stories like this can inspire people to say, I can do something too. They make the community a better place. They give their time, their energy. It's their love for others that sets them apart. They're your hometown heroes. And at 33 WYTV, we want to honor those who stand out. Go to WYTV.com and click on Hometown Hero under the Community tab to enter a nomination. We'll introduce you to a new Hometown Hero every Wednesday at 6 on WYTV. Hometown Heroes, sponsored by Window World. You could win a 58-inch TV at Greenwoods in Cortland, and here's how. Take a qualified test drive this month during our Start Something New sales event, and you're automatically registered to win. Visit GreenwoodCourtland.com to set an appointment, then come in to Greenwoods in Cortland. Sabria Hunter, our player of the game, 23 points, 15 rebounds, 3 blocks, and 3 assists, helping Austin Town Fitch to win number 9 of the season, topping Boardman by a final score of 54 to 42. Hi again, everybody. Chad Perspinski, so pleased to be joined by the head coach of the Falcons, Dan Schnurenberger. And our coach's post-game interview is brought to you by our friends with the Curbstone Coaches. And coach, congratulations on a hard-fought victory against a really good Boardman team. What was the difference down the stretch? Well, thanks. First of all, thanks, Chad. Uh, we made plays. We talk about making winning plays, and, you know, we made more um, winning plays at the end of the game. It kind of sloppy, but you know, I told the girls after I'd rather clean up some things off a win than clean up some things off a loss. But yeah, I mean, with, with a great player like Sabria, but, but Sabria got great teammates as well, and she knows that, and she appreciates her teammates, and they got her the ball at the right times. Of course, you win a fourth straight game, and Sabria gets a lot of the publicity, but you talked about some of those unsung heroes, the big triples. You, you look from Franck that, that really got you guys going and got you back into the game, and so many of your other role players. This team is a complete team, isn't it? Absolutely it is, and they play together. And uh, what I love about this team is they're great friends, too. They love each other off the court. Um, but with, with, the, with the seniors and the leadership that we have, and, um, and, and Jada did a, did a good job handling for us tonight and getting us into what we needed to get into. And like you said, Taylor Franck made some big shots, and those are momentum for us. And, and uh, you know, Maya Jackson, she's like our guts. You know, Maya Jackson is, uh, is a tough basketball player, her as well. You look at what Sabria was able to do just a force every time she's on the floor, whether it be underneath, whether it be on the defensive side, whatever it might be. I looked at the notes that you sent to me, and you said she's the hardest working player that you've ever coached. How special of a player is it, and what makes her so special? You know, we always talk about with our girls is be a good teammate, and part of being a good teammate is, is showing up in, in the fall, being in the best shape you could be in and having your skills better than they've ever been. Uh, being a good teammate's not just treating people the right way and this and that. Being a good teammate's being responsible and being accountable. And, and as you can see, she's, she's an accountable basketball player. She, she takes care of business off the court and, uh, you know, with her, with her options and, and opportunities here to play in college. But, yeah, she's, uh, she's special. With the talent and work ethic that you have with this group now, you've got to like the forecast. What will come in about a month from now when tournament play rolls around, You'd have to like your chances for this Falcon group. Yeah, I do. I do. And, and we, we do our best to schedule these girls, the, the tough non-conference games. And we went down to Columbus and saw some tough games down there, uh, saw some tough opponents down there. But, you know, that's what we do it for. We do it to uh, get ourselves prepared for the tournament and, you know, see where we're at, stack ourselves against the Cincinnati teams. And uh, we played a team from Canada as well, which, yeah, we, we do that. We want to see where we're at. Coach, congratulations on a huge victory here tonight, and best of luck down the stretch. We'll look forward to catching up with you again soon. All right, I appreciate it. That's Austin Town Fitch head coach Dan Schnurenberger. Fitch comes up with a victory, 54-42 over Boardman. We'll wrap it up when we come back on the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Stadium GM only uses certified technicians and genuine replacement parts.
Everything is new and exciting at the award-winning Stadium GM Superstore in Salem. Right now, you can save thousands because for a limited time, you can get 0% financing for up to 72 months and enjoy up to $2,000 in rebates on select Buick models or drive away in a great lease like a 2019 Buick Encore for just $189 a month and that's with zero down. Or how about a new Acadia as low as $279 a month with zero down? Visit us on the web at stadiumgm.com or come down to the Stadium GM Superstore in Salem and save. Maybe it's the crust, the toppings, or even the sauce. What's the best pizza in our area? My Valley Dining wants to know. Pick your favorite place right now. Go to myvalleydining.com and vote. We'll pick a winner for each county. Check out the hundreds of great places to get a slice across the valley. Make sure your favorite is number one. Go to myvalleydining.com and vote today. They're the classic American family. With a twist. I raised a moron. I love you, Boopy. Oh, oh my no. God. Oh, my God. But they're the family. Yeah. You can't help but love. Family takes care of family. This is what we do. The Goldbergs. Feel the love every weeknight. I got you, baby. Oh, God, no, I don't. Weeknights at 6.30 on MyYTV. As a mom, you're always wondering what your kids are getting into. That's why I'm so proud to be a part of WYTV's Keeping Kids Safe. It's helpful to know what my son can be exposed to online, in the neighborhood, or in school. Every Monday at 11, 33 News will focus on issues facing our children. It's part of how 33 WYTV believes in this valley. Sponsored by Mahoning County Children's Services and Sweeney Chevrolet Buick GMC. On rules of engagement, comedy rules. Is there smoking allowed in here? Is someone smoking? You are. <laughs> rules of engagement. Weekdays at 5.30 on MyYTV. Austin Town Fitch girls putting on a show on high school basketball's biggest stage. Fitch outlasts Boardman by a final score of 54-42. The Falcons have now won four straight games. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krispinski back alongside Will Klusenick as we put the finishing touches on this one, which was a very highly entertaining basketball game. But in the end, Fitch just too strong. Sabria Hunter had a lot to say about the end result. Uh, absolutely. Fitch way too strong inside. And Fitch did an outstanding job of going to her late in the game, making sure she got touches. You know, Boardman did an outstanding job as well early on, getting them in transition you know, and, and kept it close. But like you said, a little too much Hunter. Berkey and Green had strong games for Boardman, but in the end, it was not enough. Sabria Hunter, as we said earlier, 23 points, 15 rebounds, and route to being named our player of the game. Taylor Franck hit some big threes. She reached double figures with 11, and Jada Lazaro narrowly missed out on double figures, finishing with nine points and a total of three steals. Berkey with a dozen, Green with 10 points, and Katie Stamp with eight points and nine rebounds. Austin Town Fitch improves to nine and three. Meanwhile, Boardman drops to 10 and four. So that was the story from this one here tonight. A lot of fun, and these two teams are going to do a heck of a lot moving forward when we inch ever closer towards tournament play. And we talk about it all the time, Chad. You know, you go back to the drawing board, you see what you did well, your objective, you fix things, and you move on to the next game. And we hope you'll be, speaking of the next game, with this Friday night, we're headed across the border to Western Pennsylvania, a battle for the top spot in Region 2. It's Farrell and West Middlesex will be on the air on Friday night at 7.30 on my wide. TV as well as the WKBN mobile app. For my broadcast partner, Will Klusenick, and all of us here at WKBN, my name is Chad Krispinski telling you once again the final score, Austin Town Fitch 54, Boardman 42. Till next time, so long everybody from Austin Town Fitch High School.